We just saw a very simple example of how to differentiate from first principles when f of x equals x squared. So let's try something else, a little bit more complicated, but not quite. Now let's say that we want to differentiate, and you can find this also in the lecture notes. This is example number five. The function y equals one over x plus two. So this means f of x equals one over x plus two. If we want to calculate the derivative from first principles, we want to calculate this limit. And I'm gonna use h just to demonstrate that you can, you can use other notations. So it is the limit when h goes to zero of f x plus h minus f of x over h. Two steps you need to take. You already know what f of x is. You'll be able to sub in. We need to calculate what f of x plus h is. And if you plug in here, you get one over x plus h plus two. Now that we have the ingredients, all you have to do is plug it in. So this is the limit when h goes to zero of one over x plus h plus two minus one over x plus two divided by h. The next step that's quite obvious, instead of being scared of how this looks like, because dealing with fractions, let's face it, it's not the best thing ever. What we have to do is to find a common denominator, meaning we'll multiply this part by this and this other one by the other one. So this becomes the limit when h goes to zero of x plus two minus x plus h plus two. And then at the bottom, we get x plus h plus two, x plus two over h. What we can also do is understand that this is the same as multiplying by one over h. So we can simply write this as the limit when h goes to zero of x plus two minus x minus h minus two over h x plus h plus two x plus two. It also means that we can start cutting out terms and we can also cut this term. So this ends being the limit when h goes to zero of minus one over x plus h plus two, x plus two. And you can see that now the limit is relatively straightforward to calculate. If you plug in h here, it will go to zero. And the result is very simply, and I'll put it here so it's more legible. The result is simply minus one over x plus two squared. So we've obtained this without using any differentiation rules. And this is what it means to differentiate from first principles. So you should definitely try out other examples, making sure that you're familiar with what you need to do. And again, if you're struggling with solving limits, go back to section three, practice and understand them because they are really crucial for this. And until the next video.